I'm Jim Haggerty. You know me as the host of Today Now, but I've also eaten in a ton of restaurants. Now I'm heading out on the road. My mission, find the best pork our country has to offer. And I won't stop until I hit all 50 states. This is Jim Haggerty, Porkin' Across America. We're tasting prime pork dishes in every state in the Union, and I couldn't be more excited for this once-in-a-lifetime tour. You're going to be right here with me, seeing everything I do and watching every pork I taste. Those big city worries are behind us now, and I got everything I need to make sure this is an experience we'll never forget. Oh, it's the wife. <laughs> I think she's jealous she doesn't get to come along. Pork man speaking, who may I ask is calling. <laughs> it's Jim, honey. I'm just being funny. Stop going around. There's dark water flooding in the laundry room. You have to come home and check this out. Well, I can't turn around now. I'll be back in 10 weeks. Just leave it till then. I don't know what you think I'm going to be able to do. Am I a plumber? You have to deal with this. I am dealing with this. I'm telling you to call Armando and write him a check. I mean, I can't just drop everything. This is my show, and these people are depending on me, and I have to be here to eat the pork. Can you just come home? I'm already up to my neck with the kids and volunteering. Oh, come on. You don't even like volunteering. <laughs> hey, I can handle this on the road. We have Wi-Fi here in the van. I don't know what to do. Please Bye. come home. I'll take care of that later. In the meantime, let's set a course for pork. The people of Lexington, Kentucky like three things. Horses, cats, and pigs. You can tell just by looking at them that they know pork. The Country Smokestack has been dishing out country-style pulled pork sandwiches for years as one of Lexington's best barbecue joints. I'm here with Michael Moses Jr., who is the owner of the Country Smokestack. Michael, how do you get your pulled pork so tasty? Well, most important is we make everything from scratch using fresh local meats. That's good, right? Well, yes. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Michael's kitchen was oinking with activity, but he took time out from his busy lunch hour to show me how he preps his prize pig. A little salt and pepper for flavor. I'm sorry I missed that. The salt and what? Salt and pepper. That's right out of my cookbook. I'm a big salt fan. <laughs> Moses must know what he's doing with his salt. He serves up over 300 of his sandwiches every day. We're going to take the juices from the meat, add some spices, and then pour it back over the meat. Oh, well, I imagine you have to do that really fast before the bad stuff starts to grow. <laughs> it takes a while for bacteria to grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She does love the talk. Uh, Deb, I'm in the, the restaurant. It's the first part. I can't talk now. Girls are Tell them just to calm down. I'll call you back in a few hours. <laughs> While my pork was being prepared, Michael showed me around the kitchen where my pig met its maker, him. We let the pork roast in these ovens for a few hours until the meat's ready to fall off the bone. Nice. Wow. Ten. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like muscle. Most of meat is muscle. Pork is America's most sacred meat, so that makes Chef Moses a regular pulled pope. Mm, nice, sturdy pipes. Probably should have had this kind. It's times like these I thank God I'm not an observant Jew. Whoa, 18 missed calls. Sorry, honey, the only number I'm not screening is porks. Let's see. Everyone knows that eating alone can be very depressing, so Michael agreed to join me for my inaugural pork plate. Here we go. Oh. Thank you. That looks great. Big in. Mm. Wow. You really taste the cooked pork. <laughs> mm. We add a little extra chili powder to give it a nice oh, kick. I like the chili. You can definitely taste the powder, too. You know, it's amazing how, before you cooked it, this meat was all cold and red. It was red? It uh, was red. Uh, what was that? You know, meat sure changes a lot in a cooking process, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Damn it, Deb. Where are you? The I'm at the pork restaurant, the Deb. How have you still not taken care of this? It's just like when Tommy was getting beat up at school and you stayed at your that was another problem that you made a big deal out of that ended up solving itself. We had to put him in a different school. Oh, I thought the bully died. Listen, I'm doing the show right now. I'm sure everything's going to be fine as long as you just stop doing stupid things that don't make it worse. Stupid. And don't bother coming home again either. I never want to see you again, you stupid thing. Oh, this is exactly the kind of ridiculous overreaction to a tiny leak no, I that I should have expected stupid. from you, Deb. I mean, this is just classic. This anymore. is classic. I hope your show gets canceled. What? Hello? 
What about the show? Jen, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Look, uh, Deb, I'm sorry. I've always said there's nothing more important than family, so I will help you with the flood or whatever in a day or two. Okay? Call me back. Sorry. <laughs> These wives of ours, they can be pretty tricky. Oh, yeah. I've been married 29 years, and I still don't understand my wife. <laughs> well, if you're still hungry, you could try a strawberry pie. No, no, no. That's OK. I can only eat pork. Thank you so much for your time. Hey. Hey, our food doesn't cost this much. Well, I had some pipe problems at home, but fortunately, we avoided any pork problems. Thanks to my friends here at the Country Smokestack who helped ensure that I always have a ton on my plate. <laughs> Until next time, see you in pork. What is the biggest rock? I'm not telling you anything. Every goddamn asshole don't already know.